An all-wheel drive car uses a full-time four-wheel drive system, where the front and rear wheels are always connected to the engine through axles and shafts. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. An all-wheel drive system without a center differential uses a front differential with attachable sun gears and a rear differential with slippage limiters. Depending on the front wheel's steering position, the acceleration torque to the rear wheels varies between 50 and 60 percent. When a car goes around the curve at high speeds, there's a tendency for the inner wheels to lift off from the ground. In this scenario, the limited slip differential acts like a stability control. This collaboration between the front and rear wheels results in no loss of grip. When the car speeds up, the rear wheels shoulder more weight than the front ones. Even if the front wheels aren't gripping properly, the rear wheels can still turn the car by slowing one of them. Traditionally, four-wheel drive systems were only used in off-road conditions where the surfaces are uneven because the front wheels had to spin faster than the rear ones when cornering. When the front wheels slip, the all-wheel drive car would act like a rear-wheel drive vehicle with limited slip differential. Even if only one rear wheel has traction, the car would still move forward by reducing power to the slipping wheel. When the rear wheels slip, the all-wheel drive car would act like a front-wheel drive vehicle with an unlocking differential. Even if only one front wheel has traction, the car would still move forward with the slipping wheel connected to the gripping wheel in its default mode of locked. Because they power all four wheels instead of only two, all-wheel drive cars have twice the grip of a front or rear wheel drive vehicle. It's amazing how the unlocking front differential works that it eliminates the need of a center differential.